Okay, if that's new, I swear to God, Chad, you fuck it, I'll take the pills. These are mine. Oh, don't believe anything they tell you. Fear the boogeyman. Stop breaking your nose, then. Um, your mother. Not safe. The league say no to graffiti. That's just irony. Some kids laugh and some kids cry, but mostly children simply die. 1980s, let's go. All that you love will be carried away. Are you better off than you were four years ago? Regan, 80. Okay. Leroy. Oh, I'm high. Hello, Chad. Hello, boogeyman. Let's go to the boogeyman. Can I help you? Yep, you got it. I will. Okay. Those look like eyeballs, but I think I need to go. I think I need to go down there because I can't go anywhere else. And if I see chat around this corner, I'm gonna. Okay, so it's. Where am I going? I'm. I'm sorry, I'm drugged. What do you want me to do? Look at the bed? I don't know. Look at Chad, I don't know. Look at whatever the fuck this thing is. What did that do? Where did this even come from? In here. I'm so confused on where to go. Oh, sorry. It's open there, let me fucking... What do you want from me? I am drugged. Oh, I can squeeze past them. I don't think don't I meant... Touch me. Callum? I read the newspaper. Callum? I am off my nut at the moment, Callum. Pickled punks. Callum, my son. Oh, I've left. Oh, I'm cutting myself. Oh, oh someone's cutting me. Yeah, shake him off. Bye, Lorraine. Am I dead? I think I'm dead. Oh, no. It's been a strange trip. Indeed, indeed, indeed. How long was I out? Oh, nice, okay. The park is a collage of contradictions all of its own. <laughs> You're not gonna... Millions of people die okay. every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Here the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. 
And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despised a toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. That's cute. I think Callum is waiting for me inside. So this game is literally designed to have this be the last thing you play. Fuck off. I think. I mean, you could go in there in the first. I just didn't. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. She sounds so upset. Satan. Carrie Killian is Satan's whore. Was that there before? I'm not. I don't remember. Oh my god. It's dark in here. That's new. Oh, finally a torch. <laughs> nice sailing fan. Playing Phasmophobia now. Can we turn the lights on? Uh, it's Chad. Hi, Chad. Atlantic Island Park has closed its gates. A jeering thong throng of townfolk gathered as we hung the heavy iron padlock on the gates. Small-minded fools, scared of what they don't understand. My machines lie silent and dejected, but I am not beaten. I have sent my wife and son back to Boston, and I have returned here, to the House of Horrors. I must think. Wait, this is the House of Horrors? I thought this was a house of fun. Okay, bye, Callum. Please don't ask me why I thought this was a be a house of fun. <laughs> oh, fucking... I even saw it on the ground! The Goat Man! That's an interesting box. Oh. He's gone. He left. He didn't want to be here, so he, he just left. Hello, Wolfman. Hello, Chad. Hello, Demon Spawn. Hello. I think you're a badger. Hello again. Oh, he's controlling everything again, is he? Is he down there? No, where is he? Who knows? Hello, man. Werewolf man. Please, make me see. Callum? It wasn't this way. Radio? I don't fucking. Don't make me look at it. Make you look at what? Oh, did the layout change? Or am I just an idiot? I think I'm just an idiot. Maybe. Hello, werewolf man. 
Hello, good man. Yeah, I think. Hi, good man. Hello. You interrupted me. That was just plain rude. I think I have to go in here. And what happened to the dog? That way. Do I have to open the door somehow? I don't open the door somehow. I just open the door. Oh. I don't want to open that door. I want to open this one. After they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, Coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum, did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now. Lost and afraid. Things never got any better. Cute. Not that, the Rubik's Cube. You're definitely not cute. This is... Did that just... Oh no, okay, that makes sense. I thought that's the pod blank, but it's obviously, it obviously just didn't render in properly. In the fridge. Ew, raw chicken. In the fridge. Not wrapped up. That's just fucking weird. Ah, so this place uses non nothing. You... None. Yep. Good, Karen. Please don't contact me again, Karen. Oh, wait, wait, story. I received your letter, and I am quite surprised. You ran off with your father all these years ago, then disappeared off the edge of the map, and then when I finally tracked you down, refused to answer any of my letters, and now you write to me, asking for help. I have another family now, and another life. Your father was a horrible man, and I regret the years that I wasted with him. I loved you. I truly did, but every year you grow more and more like him. You were his girl, never really mine. Still, I have fought for custody if you hadn't run away with him. It broke my heart that I needed to go on living, but I needed to go on living. I can't let you back into my life without picking open old wounds. I'm sorry, Lorraine, but I just can't do it. Maybe one day it will be easier for you to meet, but maybe it will be easier and I can meet Callum, but not yet. I'm not ready to forgive you. Please don't contact me again. Karen. Of course her fucking name is Karen. Cute. I'm real curious what she doesn't want to see. Our inquiry into the estate of Dr. M Moss, Mr. Donald Williams has been completed. We regret to inform you that the primary beneficiaries of his estate, including the life insurance settlement for accidental death, were listed as Rose William and Richard William of New York State, the deceased's parents. Our agency made contact with Mr. and Mrs. William and explained your situation, especially as regards the birth of Donald's son, Callum. Unfortunately, they were not receptive. receptive? to our overtures, and they specify that without any legal proof of a biological relationship, they consider you ineligible to receive any of the monies <laughs> the monies, from Donald's estate. They have asked that we no longer contact them regarding this matter. 
I understand that this may have a negative impact on your current financial situation, and I hope that I am not being too forward when I enclose the bill for our services with this letter. Can I open this door? No. I'm not getting lost in this maze. I'm not getting lost in this maze. I'm walking back. Back to where I needed to go. Oh yeah, she's insane. Lorraine. Look, book. The Wilting. That's just what I need to hear. Wilting away. What was that? After multiple attempts to collect payment, we regret to inform you that your services have been disconnected or will be disconnected shortly. Please do the following. Make the payment listed on your last bill. Contact us and we can arrange a payment plan so that you can immediately be reconnected. If you believe that this is an error, call us on this number to discuss your options. If you are unable to make payment, please contact your local welfare office to discuss a placement for you and your loved ones. Winter in Maine is cold and brutal. Don't face it without electricity. Nightmare Circus. Have I been here? I'll unlock that door. <sighs> this was a mistake. I can only go down the one door. Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apple, fish sticks. Remember, drop off Callum, electricity bill, fix faucet. Have I done any of that? So you got the faucet still broken. Uh, the electricity bill hasn't been paid. And I don't know where Callum is. <laughs> A fan. Oh wait, I picked that up. I have no idea what that is. Time to go down to the spooky basement. Spooky basement. Here I come. So I went down that door. So let's open. Nope. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Look, a letter. And Emma, if it is a girl. I like Callum for a boy. Callum? Callum? Need to... no. Jesus fucking Christ, Callum. Fuck off. God damn it, Callum. Is that the phone ringing? I know that, I don't know, I know for a fact that door went open. One day. Why does that sound familiar? That doesn't sound familiar, but I, I, I. That does. That tune sounds familiar to a nursery rhyme. I'm pretty sure I was singing when I was in primary school. These doors went open. Speed run! Oh, they're covered in blood now. Hello? Wait, there's Satan. Got it. Satan's born. If he's here, he's here. No, he's not. Never mind. I was gonna say. Let's go through both. I can't understand you, Callum. That door is open now. Callum, are you down here? I read that. Callum. 
Ukrainian. That's what it is. Uh, am I changing baby diaper? I don't like these. Oh, fuck. Callum. Callum, what big feet you have. Oh, I can't. No, I can't. Just stand here. Jump scare. Now. Way to go away for the tension to build. Once the tension builds. I'm stretching. All done. Ugh. Does it want me to turn around? Oh. Oh, it just wanted me to turn. Why? What was the point? Can I go down there now? Nope. I didn't read this. As we agreed in our meeting today, we consider you to be batshit fucking insane. Let's be clear. You are in no way sound of mind and body, and you are in danger to everyone around you. Please note that your only escape from this should be drugs. A shitload of them. Smoking, snorting, oral, intervention. I don't know what that means. Intravenous. Take them any way you can, and as often as you can. That shit will only make your life better. In case there are any doubts, you are suffering a relapse, and nobody really cares. Nobody can help you now. Don't fuck this up. Have a nice day. What a... Mmm, love that dissonance. What a fucking bitch. Callum, oh Callum, where art thou? Mom is gonna buy you a mockingbird. Yep, that's it. Oh, the dolls are gone. That blood is moving. That lamp is flickering. The music of- that's a doll head. I really like- are the blood glistens now? I don't even want to know how it's raining. Slash flooding. Oh, a water pipe burst. Did Callum kill these kids? Did I kill these kids? How does this actually work, like, in a real fun house? Like, in a real house of horror, or a real fun house? Oh, it's different. Like, this is an attraction in the Stories time. Stories are told again and again, and from their shape we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. The child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of this story, the mother and the witch were the same person. I never wanted to be the witch, but I am, aren't I? Oh, I know what this is. The creepy old, like the really tall guy. He's Mr. Winters, like he's the owner, isn't he? Eyes without sparkle, creepy. I think that's as, this is where that's setting up. Can't go that way, so I mean, I might as well fucking examine the book. 
That's a hand selling, but I don't. It does. I thought something like really spooky was about to happen. I thought I missed it. Nuts. No, just what is that thing? That's gas. I gotta go. Cal. Cal. Casually fall. I read it's Chad. See, he's wearing a Cthulhu shirt. What did you expect from a child wearing a Cthulhu shirt? Oh. Hello, Mr. Winters. Sacrifice him to Cthulhu! Am I meant to do something or am I just stuck here to watch? I'm stuck here to watch. Whoop de doo. What happened to Chad? Where did Chad go? I'm gonna name i I'm gonna name the tall guy Kyle. Cad Chad and Kyle. Cad and Chile. Mike and Bill. Those are words. So I just drag his. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Uh. What the fuck? Why do you. What? <laughs> Is he carrying around just a single mosquito? Oh, his eyes are better now. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. Oh, this is a different man. In yeah. my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Oh. Sad. Oh, it's a firefly, not a fucking mosquito. As the boogeyman. Lorraine Payne as Park announcer. Oh, Lori Payne. I'm great at reading. Oh, the fucking music. Mm, so good. I really enjoyed that game. It was terrifying in some parts, and really dumb in others. <laughs> but I liked it. It was good. My favorite character is Chad. Yes, Chad. He's obviously the best, and you can fight me. John Seymour as the producer. Oh my god, did he find the bear? I mean, he's holding the bear there. Is it the Ferris wheel? Could I have found the bear? And that's the good ending, and I just got the bad ending. Is there multiple endings? Am I an idiot? Yes. I'm an idiot. I'm very much an idiot. 